Hi everyone and welcome back to our short videos on business studies. How are you? I hope you're doing extremely great, extremely great. Yeah. So anyway, um, what we've covered in the last video was market size and today we will be looking at market growth. Yeah. So yes, we are still in marketing. We are learning about the features of a market and how is market growth important. We go back to the definition of market size because in a business, before getting into one, you want to know, um, you know, all the other businesses who are performing the same thing as you do. For, for example, uh, selling shoes. All right, selling shoes, and you want to know how big the market is. That's why we've calculated the, uh, we've looked at the market size in the last class, right? And if you recall, we spoke about volume and value, okay? Which means the combined sales of a business can be measured in terms of how many pairs of shoes they've sold, right? Collectively, in terms of the number of business, also in terms of the value of those shoes sold. Okay, today we are still going to talk a bit about uh, market size because it's related to market growth. Market growth is basically looking at the percentage of change, right, in the total sales of a market. All right, so let's highlight some keywords here because we're looking at the change and this change is based on the total sales of the market. And what does that mean? We are referring to market size, okay? So we'll use the same example as we did in the last uh, class where we spoke about the shoe industry and we have some information available already. And just let, let me just put that down on the screen for you. Um, we are looking at the sales, but let's talk about sales volume instead to measure uh, the market growth. Yeah. So back in 2019, we have the sales in terms of volume for this shoe industry and the amount was 2 million units, right? But to measure market growth, you can't just use an information from one particular year in order to see whether a market is growing or not. You need to make a comparison with a different year as well. So we'll look at the year before and make an assumption uh, just to put a different color so that, you know, you know, it's from a previous year of 2018, right? Where this time the combined businesses made a total volume of sales of 1 million. All right. So in order for us to calculate the market growth, let's get the formula on the screen for you. And the formula is the volume of sales. Right. For the year of 2019 being the current year, less the volume of sales in the year 2018 and to show the growth you'll always compare with the previous year all right which is the volume of sales in 2018 and because we're looking at percentage therefore we need to put the 100 percent over there okay now let's look at the calculation for this <clears throat> volume for sales in 2018 19 is 2 million less 1 million versus 1 million times 100%. <clears throat> Excuse me there. Now, this makes it a growth of, if you you need a calculator for this, yeah? So you may have an answer or you will have an answer of 100% growth. Right. Why? Because look at the difference There's one million difference of growth in terms of 2018 to 2019 versus the initial figure of one million. So this tells you that this company has grown by 100 percent and that is actually quite good. Yeah. So why is this important? It is important because, um, you know, you know what, what kind of business to go into, whether the market is growing and please Remember that it's also depending on various factors that can cause a market to grow or to decline. All right. Thank you so much and have a great, great day ahead.